has to make us feel good. God is good. Yes, he is. And that is all we need. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. God, you're so good. So good. I love this song. I believe.
Amen and Gail. Give the praise team a great big hand. Amen. I think they did a wonderful job. And we are so blessed and honored to have a Savior and a Lord that cares about us. He cares about everything that we care about. He knows our heart. He knows what we have need of even before we ask. And he's always there. Never will he leave us nor forsake us. Can you say amen? amen. He's a good God. Not part time, not sometime, but all the time. Come on, hallelujah. And I'll tell you what, you can already feel the presence and the power of God in you. Somebody said, well, when the anointing showed up, how many here have been born again? Say, filled with the Spirit. Well, when you walk through the door, the anointing showed up. Wherever you are, the anointing is with you. Because he now resides and lives the will on the inside of us. Come on, hallelujah. And we need to just kind of step back and learn how to let him live through us. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Are we missing with you, sister? Sorry about that. So, they're making some adjustments up here. But we are glad today to have the Parnells all the way from Sanford, Arkansas. Let's stand up and give them a big hand of applause.
push that all the way down, baby. So the heat will stay out of here. So give us just a moment. Sorry about that. Okay. Have we got people online here, Pastor? Oh, yeah. definitely. Awesome. Awesome. Hello, everybody. We're just country folks. There you go. Praise God. Just a little hint mentioned there, folks. They are coming. Electric problem is handled. It looks like maybe for now anyway. And again, we want to introduce to you all the way from Van Buren, Arkansas, the Parnell. Here's a song that's brand new. It says, God knows. And just remember, he knows about your situation in your life. As you find trouble of the care of time, you share. Thank you. 
Amen. Go ahead. Yes. Of his people. Come on. We create the atmosphere. Yes. And God shows up to dwell in the presence yes. Come on. Come on. We worship you, Jesus. Yes. Oh, how we worship you. Oh, thank you, Jesus. We focus our Praise. minds. We focus our hearts. Hallelujah. Today, God. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Good work. Praise God. We need you, Hallelujah. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We need you more than yes. ever. We need God. Oh, hallelujah. We need you yes. more than the songs and the words yes. that come out of our mouth. Yes, Lord. We need you in this yes. place, God. We need you in this world today. Yes, Lord. Like never oh, before. Oh, hallelujah. Yes. We need you, God. Oh, hallelujah. Praise oh, you. Before he went to the sky, he gathered all the 
unless you allow him yeah. to place yeah. in your life. Yes, yeah. come on. It's time you set your mind to say, look, enemy, I have authority over you. The Bible yeah. said, keep me the word of God. I wish I had my Bible, but the word of God said that we have the authority over the enemy. Yeah. And he has no place for you. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Get rid of that. Come on, bring it now.
in my life, and then comes Linda Gale. Oh, come on, give her a big hand. Uh, so don't forget that on August the 3rd, that'll be Tuesday afternoon uh, at about 1 p.m., because uh, Triple Hour ends at 1, and I always get off a little bit early, and that way she'll be able to start right on time or just a few minutes within that. And we'll work it out where we get it coordinated because I'm going to get off a broadcast and if she's there with me, she'll be there. And we just switch places and restart her broadcast. And so we're looking forward to it. God's blessed her. And it's being, uh, uh, you know, when people are starting to make already your, your scenery and your side screens and all that before you even know you're going to do it. You know that God's in that thing. Come on, God had to ordain it. Now, today, I, I really appreciate, you know, there's a lot of groups out there that you'd have to give them $600, $1,000 to come, to even come and set up their stuff. Come on, to, to take a piece of equipment out of their motorhome. But the Parnell say never. They come and... We receive a love offering. That's what they come for. And today what I want to do right now before we give it back to them is go ahead and receive a love offering for them. And those of you on Facebook, if you're listening today, this is the first time we've done this, but we're going to do it anyway. If God speaks to you about making a donation, all you have to do is go to paypal.me slash Bethel, capital B E T H E L 950. Then Yale's putting that in the chat room, so it's in there. Most of you know uh, what it is. I see Donnie Clemens in there, uh, Jenna Bostic, hello, Glenda Mann, all of you that uh, regulars on the program, and we thank you for being there. Now, if God speaks to you, you want to be part of being a blessing to them and donate. What's going to happen? You're going to send it to the PayPal. We're going to look at the PayPal. When we add up all the total, they're going to receive even what's on the PayPal. We'll write them a check from the church. Amen. We'll let them know what's in there. We'll let them see what's in there. Come on. So we want to be a blessing to them. And if God moves on you, that again is paypal.me slash Bethel, capital B E T H E L 950. Amen. And I'm going to ask my buddy, a bass player, come on, an uh, awesome addition to Bethel Temple, uh, Jason, Jason Arnold. Come on, if you come up, we're going to give you here in the congregation an opportunity to give as he walks around. Amen. Just as God leads you, be a blessing if you enjoy them. And don't forget, they've also got CDs and all kinds of other little goodies over there on the side. And, and, and that you can look at and, and uh, partake of. Come on, be a blessing. We want to bless them today. Yes, go ahead and pray for them. Please be. Okay. Father, in the name of Jesus. God, as we receive this offering today, God, if anyone on uh, Facebook is listening and you moved on their heart, let us move in obedience to you. Bless it, anoint it. God, give it back, press down, shake it together, and run it over. God, just move by your spirit, and we lift it up to you. It's all about you as we take this special love offering for the pardoning of us. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you, Brother Jason. I was waiting for you there. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. God's good. All the time. And all the time. God is good. And all the time. Come on, y'all. Work with me now. God is good. All the time. And all the time, God is good. Amen. Put your hands together for Jesus. Hallelujah. I tell you what, He is in the house. Come on, Hallelujah. I said He is in the house. And I know the word that's going out 
All you've got to do is receive it. The Bible says this. His word will not return to him void or empty, but it will perform and prosper what it's sent out to do. The word is being sent out to do today is to bless you, to lift you up, to encourage you, to strengthen you. And if you haven't met him yet, all you've got to do is say, I believe, confessing with your mouth and receiving today. Hallelujah. Well, I'm going to get out of the way. Oh, well, we had some good preaching here. And I, ooh, I'll tell you what, I can't follow that. Amen. I, love God. I know I'm good, but it's not a preacher's convention today. Amen. But did we get to work? Woo! Did we get to work? You know, I enjoy that sometimes Linda and I like to get fed. And, and so we'll kind of sit back and enjoy it. And, 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 and receive it, and then the next thing you know, it's bubbling over. Ah, got down in our spirit, got down in our soul. We want to shout, we want to dance, we want to give God the glory. Let's receive now the party. Well, I think we come to a uh, Decision that it's the what do they call it? Power it's a power commissioner, and all that does is basically it tells us how many votes it's going to do that for the plug right here. So we've had that for a long, 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 long time. And we think it may be that that's actually bad. Nothing happened to it. No, no plug in, no electric, no nothing. It just went bad. So that's what we're trying to get it done. So. We're, hey, sorry about all of that stuff, and it kind of, kind of, you know, hindered a little bit of the beginning of the service. But hey, God moved in on the Bible. Yes, He right? did. Amen. He did Amen. I'm sorry about that. Sometimes equipment does that. Amen. And you can't, you just can't do anything about it. You just got to go on. I told Gary, I said, let's just let it blow up. If that's all it wants to do, it don't bother me. <laughs> <laughs> That was blown up before, Pastor Jack. And uh, hey, it's just equipment, it's technology. But anyway, uh, I don't think it's going to do that, and uh, I think you're going to be okay. Uh, but anyway, we are, again, glad to be here with you guys so much. And we love and appreciate your pastors. We got to know them uh, in a way that, I'll tell you, it's just like family. It's like, you know, they band. You know close to us and we appreciate you so much. Yeah. And we thank you for uh, taking our music and putting it over the airwaves uh, wherever around the world that it goes. Yes. And also Pastor Jack, you know, Brother John just stepped in there. Amen. And he's a local John. DJ here uh, in yeah. the area. Amen. And uh, we thank him also for playing our music. Hey, Pastor Jack, what's the call letters of Brother John's next night? I can't remember. Uh, KOGG. KOGG. Radio. Radio here in Atoka. Here in Atoka. And uh, we thank you, Brother John, for playing it also. We thank you so much. Oh, yes. Uh, 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 Brother John's is KHKC. Yeah. KH. Our local station. KC, the local station. Okay, KHKC. KHKC. Let's write that down. Tie your tongue together. I know. Oh, no. Well, as you already know, we are preachers too. Gary and I have been preaching since we were young. And uh, Andy started about three years ago. And uh, so. Yeah. But we also, we sing and preach, and then we just sing, too. And uh, it just depends on the event and the venue and so on. I'll tell you what the Lord's done, though. You know what he did for us this year? We were, we had put on a gospel gig, some of thing. No, Gig Salad, we call it. Gig, you know, funny name for a website. But it's a website for all different artists. 
no matter who you are. You can be an Elvis impersonator. Come on. Hey, man. You can put your thank you, thank you, you know, thank you. name and phone number and all that affair. Sonny Burkett. You're not that good. Sonny Burkett. But uh, anyway, we had a call, uh, an email, rather, that came through and wanted us to to talk with them about an event in Springfield, Missouri at the Covenant Presbyterian Church. And so Gary relayed the email to me and I got in contact with the, the lady there at the church that was put the event together. And well, hey, guess what? It worked. And we made an agreement and uh, come to an understanding of what we were doing and going to do and not going to do and all that, you know, all that stuff. And uh, she said, we love y'all and love you singing. And uh, she said, I'll tell you what, we want some of them kicking songs. That's what she said. And I thought, okay. Go ahead now. Come this on. Is Presbyterian Church of Wallowing. I can't say much because I don't know much about any other group but the singers of God because that's where I was raised. Uh -huh. I'm still at today, Pentecostal. And uh, I can't hardly say much about anybody else and what they do and how they do and how they do. Know, Come on, go ahead. And when she told me that, I said, well, now, sis, I said, I'm going to tell you right now, we got some kicking songs, and we can sing them. <laughs> and uh, so we got booked there coming up pretty soon, the end of September. And uh, so we're, I'm excited about now these two over here, you know, they're so holy and all that. And, uh, are you excited? Okay. She's excited. Boy. Hey, most of us got you there. <laughs> but anyway, anyway, uh, we are we're excited about it, and we're looking forward to going. And Come on. That, but other places, too, that all over the world. And uh, so I tell you what we're going to do. We're going to sing about three or four more. And uh, we want you just to continue to worship as you already have. And again, we apologize for all this technical stuff and everything. Oh, it's know, okay. With that Hallelujah. stuff in and out and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, and blah, blah. It's, it's okay. We're done. And we're going to sing. How many is how ready to sing? Amen. Hallelujah. Will you sing with us? Yeah. Yeah. An old happy birthday standard. Let's go. 
years ago, we uh, had a man of God that we love so much, Brother Walter Gartrell, went home to be with the Lord. It's been a number of years ago. Here he wrote this next song I want to sing. And I hope you like it. How many thankful for the blessings of God? Yes, yeah, amen. Amen. I'm so thankful too. I'm glad that God has helped us through all of the trials and all the things we face from day to day, from year to year. Every day God has been good and showed up in our life. And he's been the God that's helped us through. Yeah. Brother Walt Artro wrote this song and he says, Thank you, Lord. For your blessings on the Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, 
And hey, who knows how much longer ministries like us is going to be able to That's right. I don't know. That's right. I don't know. Thank right you. now, we yeah. heard the group. Gary was coming back, coming down to the uh decided to not go anymore because of that expenses and so on. It shut down gospel music, Pastor Jack. Yes. In 2020, it shut Come down. Come on. Yes, it did. And it seemed like, well, John, there's only a handful that still just go and keep going. But, you know, God has kept us in His hand. He's watched over us. And we're trying to be good stewards of His money. We're trying to do that. And make sure we use it for the kingdom of God. And use it the right way. Amen? Amen. And uh, so pray for us when we pray. That God will continue to just bestow His blessings upon us. And not only that, but that God will continue to see people saved. We'll continue to see people say that we're going to share before we go. We don't count how many that get saved, but we know we've had people say, we've seen people deliver, we've seen people heal this year already. And so we pray that you will keep us in prayer, stand with us in prayer, and believe that God is going to help us to be able to carry on for as long as He says. Hello, somebody. Yes, come on. And, uh, and then, you know, the enemy's trying to, to destroy our bodies physically. And uh, I got uh, COVID, you know, back in November last year. And I'm still recovering some from that. Come on. And uh, I never thought, you know, at 62, turning 63 in September, I never thought that I'd experience things that I've experienced in my body that change. Uh, experience because of illness. But let me tell you something. I still believe yes. that by His stripes, yes. by His healing. Yes. I still believe the Word of God. Amen. Says, and I know without a shadow of a doubt that if He's faithful and just to forgive us of our sins, He's faithful and just and He's righteous and He's able to heal our bodies. How many believes that? Yes, amen. I believe that. Someone said, yeah, but you know, it's easier, you know, to get saved than it is to get healed. I don't know. I don't understand all of the things that God does, and I don't try. I don't try to even question God. Sometimes, you know, in the flesh, you will do it, but sometimes I just don't try to, you know, analyze it so much. I just say, Lord, thank you. I need you. I praise you. I give you glory for everything. Because if there's one thing that 15 years ago, when Gary and I joined together as the Parnells, we've been singing all of our life, and, and uh, our nephew, and uh, my, our sister, and uh, uh, a few other women that have helped sing soprano and so on in this ministry. 15 years ago, when we started, you know, we didn't know where we was going or what we was going to do. But it's been a good trip. Oh, somebody. Yes, come on. It's been a good trip. Amen. Yeah. And uh, I, I'm believing, Logan, that this year God's going to see us through. How about you? But if there's one thing that we've done, sis, and I, I never got to say this one ago, but I'm going to say it. Your music, your, your writing is great. I like it. The tunes, the melody of the songs remind me of uh, Frankie Avalon's music. It does, don't it? Back in those years, when they came in, there's nothing wrong with that. I don't know. There's, you know, romantic songs are great. I don't have a problem with that. I don't know about you. Come on. You know, especially for to your wife or whatever. Yes, come on. But anyway, her, her song was listening to Saint Paul go and that that metal you hear it, you hear it? That's what it was. And uh, and the words of I believe. And what was the other one saying? The one you sang before that. Uh, go go ahead. Uh, stick closer than a brother. That go ahead and cry your tears, I will dry them. I will never Yes, hear. yes. And and then he just it touched me, it really did. Thank you. Jesus. The words That's touched me. And I hope that you do yes. the same way. And uh, I'm not bragging or boasting God. I hope you did. And there's one thing. There's one thing, and I'm okay. There's one thing. We're going to sing this song. 
And I don't know if Debbie can do it or not, but she's yes, having can. issues with her throat. So I hope she can sing this song. I hope she I know she will. But this is a song that just tells it all for the Parnells. It just says it all. Yes, but come on. There's any other song that really tells it all with this chorus. And it just simply says, I'd rather yes. have Jesus.
a lot of other people were running virtual concerts where yeah. you called in um, using our our uh, uh, access to the to KOTG page, and maybe y'all didn't, but I mean there were people that did, and we ran several of them that way. Well, we're doing a switch up this year. In 2021 and 2022, we are now doing a gospel, southern gospel, gospel showcase. And on that showcase, what you do is you put four 30-minute videos together for the month of whatever month it's going to be. And anybody that wants to be involved, I'm talking to you out there too, Facebook. I know i got artists out there listening to me. Johnny Russell that just went through uh, a bypass surgery and, and from uh, Reborn. And, and there's other uh, singers out there that have been sick and going through a hard time too. And we pray for them all the time. We lift them up. But on that showcase, you'll put four 30-minute videos together, a video a week. And not only is it going to be on the radio, but it will be on Roku TV, WOTG TV West, our new station, WGH TV uh, uh, Network out of Colorado with uh, Marty Smith. And I think it's going to be on about four radio station, and we just got a new one, Branson Radio Station. Yeah. So, I mean, TV station, a radio station. And with the TV stations now, these are going to be showcased, running on, and you can get them on Roku TV, you can get them on uh, YouTube, you'll be able to get them on Twitter. You, I mean, they're going out, and they're going around the world. So anybody that wants to be part of that, put your videos together. If you just want to do it one week, that's okay, but if you'd like to do the whole month, put four videos together and get them to Brother Chuck Bryan and tell him KOTG told you to send them to him. And, and we are the sister station of WOTG. Come on, and, and Chuck Bryan is the found, founder, the general manager, and Jesus Christ is the owner and the CEO. Amen. And if it wasn't for Jesus, none of us would be doing it. So if you want to be part of something like that, it's going to go, and I'm telling you that these TV broadcasts, the radio broadcasts, they're going around the world. We have people come in on our station from Brazil. We have them come in from Northern Ireland. We have them come in from Canada. We have them come in from Pakistan. We've got them coming in from Bangladesh. I mean, everybody's coming. So you're getting out there, and it'll be a blessing to you. Come on, and then if there's going to be advertisements in between the shows and programs. And oh, I'll tell you, it's awesome what God is doing right now through the WOTG TV and radio network. And we're just glad to be a small part of it. Don't forget, August the 3rd, August the 3rd at 1 p.m., Bethel Temple Women of Faith Ministries with Linda Gale will be starting, and that'll be every Tuesday at 1 o'clock as soon as I get my body out of the way. Then Linda Gale's going to step up there in my place. They've already designed everything for her, and we're really excited. There's an ad out on Facebook, on her page, KOTG page, all those pages. And again, I just said that to let you know that there's hope for gospel music. There's hope for gospel artists. If they close us down, if they try to shut us down, come on, we're still going out there over the radio, over the TV, showcase, oh hallelujah, on a weekly program over all four TV stations. Come on, somebody, get it. somebody help me, shout hallelujah, hallelujah, oh Lord, there's that cowboy preacher coming, in. hallelujah, hallelujah. Have you enjoyed this afternoon? Yeah. Have you enjoyed the company of the yes. Cardinals? Yes. Have you enjoyed the company of one another? Yes. Have you enjoyed the company of Jesus yes. and all the host of heaven? Amen. Give them another great thing.
there's nothing like Jesus. Woo, there's nothing like the Lord. Amen. No, there's the power of God. Amen. What an anointing. What an anointing upon the Barnett. Woo, I'm just doing everything I can to stand still. I praise God. He's so good and merciful and kind. And I just want to tell y'all that everybody that's been coming in says tell y'all thank you for coming. They said tell the Parnells thank you for coming and being there today. Yeah, and we thank y'all for being here with us today. Hey, Spook, we thank you all over the world Amen. that God has blessed you. I know that whew, it's hard to stay still. <laughs> I'm like, I admire these people that can just go. I'm right now, I can't. And I praise God for the fire of the Holy Ghost. Oh I thank God for the word that was brought forth through my brother. He didn't even recognize it exactly what I needed to hear. And I give God the praise and the word for every song that was sung. I praise God for some of his words he has come. Yes, that he knows. Now, God, we thank you for such a time as this. We thank you, Lord God, for the heart of every life that's been touched and ministered to, Lord God. That every seed that was sown, Lord God, and the word that was brought forth in the songs. And the words of the songs, Lord God, that you will go deep and be rooted, Lord God. And someone else will come along the water, Lord God, and you will give the increase. And we thank you for such a time as this. We know that there's nothing impossible to those that believe. On, God, we just give you the praise and the glory. We give you the honor that your hands are not too short to touch those in the time of need and the time of trouble. God, we ask that you would just touch and minister the sister Sandra Perez, friend that had our attack last night. God, that you will heal his body and bring him home. And God, we give you the praise and glory as we declare your word over him by the finished work on the cross of Calvary. God, I thank you for the peace, the joy, the strength of your Holy Spirit that's gone forth over the airways, that has touched hearts and touched lives. Help us, Lord God, to be busy for the kingdom of God. Oh, this is make the good news of the gospel of our sweet Lord Jesus. And we thank you so much for loving us. We thank you so much, Lord God, that you just wrap us in your arms and you just love us. I thank you for your unconditional love. God, you know me. I love to talk to you. I love to pray. And God, I thank you, Lord, that every heart and every life is going to be uplifted and encouraged and forgiven at this moment. And we give you the praise in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Glory to Amen. God. Amen. Glory to God. Sure, we greet one another. Don't forget, y'all. There's, there's some. Goodies over there. Goodies over there. <laughs> 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 and also, y'all don't want to miss those CDs over there. Right here.